Hello everybody and welcome back. Um, we are in a very interesting position right now. We just gained independence from Lotharinga, which is collapsing itself as well. So we got a huge power vacuum here in the center right now. Um, and who knows what's, who's taking it, you know. Right now we got the Empire of France on the one side and the Emperor or the Kingdom of Bavaria on the right side, on the eastern side. Both of them are extremely powerful. Both of them are not enemies that we want to have. None of them at the moment have a claim on my territory though. So I should not fear any invasion at the moment. Um, what might happen is that the Duchy of Augsburg, this guy here, Duke Charles III, he has a claim on the Duchy of Swabia. So he might actually, well, go with a war against Swabia at some point, which belongs half to us, half to East Francia. But for now, I think we should be fine. So I do have now an option. Do I want to go right with fealty for Bavaria? Right, so right, go into the Kingdom of Bavaria and then start taking territory here. Or do I want to use my independence right now, declaring war on Lotharinger um, and actually taking, um, well, the county of Sundgau, which is pretty close. So it's this one here. It doesn't belong to us at the moment. And Sundgau would be a nice addition. It's Swabian as well. Um, very weak at the moment. The problem though is if, if I pause the game now, will someone declare war on me and try to take me? I don't know. Difficult one. I think we're going to take the risk. The risk for independence was quite successful. So let's just, yeah, do it. Seize the county of Sundgau de Jour. Um, this king, he's not really a king, right? He's got an army of 87. He is vastly inferior. He's got no allies, no money, no prestige, no piety. Seriously, he's not going to live long. So we should use this momentum. Let's declare war on him for the county of Sundgau. There's the war declaration. Let's raise my armies. Actually, I should have made the rally point up here somewhere. Um, it's 2,600 that we have. Let's go for Sundka first and then for the capital of um, <laughs> Lotharinga. Where is he actually? Oh, he's over here. Every man for himself. Jacob is fiddling nervously with his sleeve as I open the door to my chambers. What is he doing here at this hour? My deepest apologies, but I must speak with you in private. I've discovered something very interesting. Jay because uncovered secret of Valfredo, my bishop. I swear after this you will owe me no longer. Um, we lose or we get a hook on my bishop. But we lose the, the hook on Jacob. Um, the house hook actually. Mm, I would rather have you in my pocket than him. To be honest, that's what we might go. And speaking of which, we also have another problem. The problem is that my son has born this guy here, right? So he would be next in line. So I do have now two options. Do I want to murder him? He definitely cannot be an heir to my dynasty. He's a leper, minus 95% fertility, and he's ugly. So in that case, um, he will not have any heirs of his own. Um, if I inherit him at some point, the game would be over because there would be no direct children anymore. So we need to get rid of him. A very dangerous situation here right now. We do have the option of this in uh yeah, disinheriting him. So the so Simon would lose all stuff on my trade, and this character has been disinherited by the dynasty had and cannot inherit any title from any other dynasty member. I think this is the one that we want to go with. He, we lose 75 opinion with him, but other than that, it costs me 150 prestige and 75 fame, or renown, that is. I could either go with that, or I kill him. If I kill him, um, I, will, I don't have to pay any prestige, because I don't have that much, right? We have a 47% chance at the moment. Let's try this. Let's try to kill him. Um, in that case, my spy master is going to help me with that. Um, and perhaps we can get someone that is really cheap into the whole thing. 90, Walter, 70, hello Walter. Um, my son. We could actually use a hook for my son, on my son, Jacob. And he would join in this scheme. Not, not a very friendly scheme, is it? We are going to kill one of our own in that case. Enough people have joined, so this murder scheme will most likely succeed against him. Um, I know you are a dedicated servant of the Lord. I therefore hope you will look in sympathy. My gold, gold, focus your manpower elsewhere. Um, yeah, we lose a bit of tax there for a bit of time, but that's fine. I still have the war to wage. We got now enough agents there in this scheme as well. 
The thing is, though, who will inherit the next? Let's have a look. Duchy of Corezia, which is the whole thing at the moment. So my son, he will be gone then. And then we get Jacob. So my both of my sons will inherit next. You know, so this guy needs to go in the middle there. As long as he doesn't have another son, it will be over after him with him. And we still have then Jacob. Jacob has no sons at the moment, though. So he's betrothed. So that will be something with a genius wife. So Jacob is actually a very nice bat that we have there. Um, during the daily management of my realm, I have learned of several different opportunities I can pursue. Each opportunity has great potential, but realistically, I can only pursue one of them. I've heard a lot of, of, of a lost tome. Count Clement could use help managing. Or securing those trade deals for money. Or we do gain obtained lost knowledge. Oh, plus two steward. Very good. And we got it actually. More stewardship points for us. And in that case, this will of course help us then. Now we're still claiming now this territory here. We got it. And now we need to move for the capital, which is over here. It's quite a long journey. I hope my army arrives there safely. They do. Assassin, the time has come. My agents are in place. Do it. Poor soul. All right, he died. Poor soul, he was not meant for this world. Look at him. Unfortunately, this is the end of him. But it was just necessary in order to continue this game. And there we have it. We have a 50% now. And we've also got the plenary assemblies finally. So we can raise our crown authority. Very important. Let's continue. I need to decide now as head of the culture what we want to research next. The barracks would be four years. This would give us military buildings. Alright, I think we have everything from here, right? No, the barracks is the last thing, actually. Right, the barracks is the last thing. Let's just do this. Four years, it's nothing. And then we can finally go for the early medieval time. The road. My steward, Prince Bishop Alessandri, informs me that there is a desperate need for a new road to traverse the county of Furstenberg. Many of the old roads are dilapidated and even dangerous. A commoner by the name of Meinhard has been put forward as the natural leader of the construction effort. Oh, 24. Can we invite him to the court? He will not accept. See it done. My steward will handle this. Those roads were good enough for our ancestors. No, let's see it done. Gives us another perk there as well. With the ongoing war, levies are using the completed parts of the road in Furstenberg to quicken their march. Already worn and damaged, Meinhardt claims the workers will have to double back to reinforce it. Oh, work to death. No. We lose a bit of money, but the road quality is increased. Oh, come on, just give up. Oh, he's taking it back. And the work on the road in Furstenberg is progressing, but the stretch of land currently being prepared goes beyond a hill far from both villages on either side. Both villages are reluctant to provide workers. I will pay for it. It's really a small amount there. My steward seems almost shocked. I have been in inspecting the road construction in Furstenberg and the peasant workers are so much more efficient than I expected. Even I might learn a thing or two from them. Um, can we use this knowledge elsewhere? You gain construction. Oh, minus 10% building construction time. Um, or learning from the peasants. We do get 150 prestige. Yes. Let's do this. Because... Minus 10% is not really something that, well, I should say is, is cool. Um, according to Meinhardt, the work on the road in first book is going well. The ground is firmer and the stretch is flatter than we hoped, my lord. Expand further. Alright, things are going exactly as I want them. A perfect opportunity to cut costs. No, let's expand the road further. Good road is important. This war though, I'm, I, have, I have a bad feeling about the war. Um, it is not often a common addresses me directly, but Meinhardt reports on the construction efforts in Furstenberg. The plan for the road um, was to pass through the f this field, my legioness. But I know this... C he's not really the best, right? But I know 
the kind of soil we are working with. Might haps my passengers could request that we reroute it through the nearby forest. Alright, another 50 that we lose. He's got a new ally, has he? Yes, he cut... No. Oh, that is another one that is attacking him right now. And we are kind of like competing for territory here. Oh, seriously. The end of the road. The road network through Furstenberg is finally complete. This might very well be the best road in the entire realm. We do get a stewardship life skill point and holding taxes plus 15 development plus 30%. Or I have more work for you. He joins my court. We would get an excellent steward with that. And I think we're going with that, right? We could then use Meinhardt. First of all, we got two points now. So we can go with Divided Attention and Architect finally. That we have thus completed. We are now the Architect. Very good. On the other hand, where is Meinhardt? He joins my court. I don't see him anywhere, though. Yeah, this guy is nowhere to be found. What is happening? Where is this Meinhardt guy? You can designate powerful, negotiate, alliance... Nope. He's gone. And we really have a problem here because this guy is at war with several factions now and we're all competing about the same territory. Oh, come on. This is annoying. Because we're losing the capital once again. Now we have 100%. And there we've won. Right, so we got Sundka now as well for ourselves. We can increase control there. Um, let's do this. And I think now is the time to actually vassalize ourselves. Once again, there's a bit of money that we might go with. That's a hundred. She is no one really. She only has a claim on something, but that's really it. So that's a good amount of money there. Sundgau belongs to us. Very good. Bit of ransom there as well. Um, hmm. We have 2,800 soldiers. We are a force. Seriously, we are someone actually. We might... We might succeed being independent. The thing is though, independent-wise, I cannot... You know, continue into the east, and I want to. So I only see the reason, uh, only see ourselves uh, part of Bavaria, to be honest. Plus, I'm from Salzburg, so I kind of belong to this whole region here. Um, so I should actually go for this. It's a difficult one. We might always go back to independence later. All right, I need to check my. Yeah, very good. He's gone now. And I really want to play a Simon though because he's a fortune builder himself. So he's pretty good for stewardship. Though he's got no air at the moment. Alright. Alright, I'm still a bit lost with my new gained freedom. We are, I mean, we are really powerful. Let's face it. We could even face, look at that. Sweden now took part here in Europe. So we know Sweden is pretty strong in the early medieval time. Um, we are even on par with Sweden. Even they are inferior, you know, so even even they are. Um, Franke here, as we can see, is pretty big now as well. Moved down here to Italy as well. And they're nothing. I mean, they're vastly inferior. They don't even have a chance if we declare war on them. We are small, but we really are powerful. And this makes me hesitant a bit if we really should go to Bavaria because... Oh, and we got the fascinated barracks. Trade. And I think with that we have completely finished the yeah, the culture for Swabian in the tribal and we now can focus on something new in Swabian culture and that is the early, early medieval time. So this is a big decision. Right, we also got, yeah, we can now also increase our crown authority. Let's do this. Rules can change between available partition succession laws. We can uh, revocate titles and vassals can be retracted. This is pretty big. Um, it costs me a bit, but let's pass this law. 
and we can do this then once again in 975 so in 20 years from now um let's have a look what else we can go with here we could go military wise but rather have a feeling that civic is more beautiful in that case we could enact the partition law so under partition laws your tiles will be divided equally we get a bit more prestige um communal government counties now reach the maximum development penalty at 35 we're still far away from that we can enact the high crown authority um naval speed unlocks all medieval er era economic buildings i think we will go with this and bailiffs gives me plus one domain limit let's go with manor manoralism for now it takes 20 years to reach this all right so this will be our first step towards that um then we have the crown authority very good i think my vassals don't mind that much right no we're still pretty happy with all of them and yeah as i said we could declare war on frank here right away he's got no real allies no money no troops really we do have the claim on como this one here we have a claim on this might actually be something should we go with that vastly inferior let's declare the war the worst that can happen is that we lose the war and lose the claim but come on and rally point let's move this one where's his capital let's move it to jur and then raise my armies we could call in someone yeah to speed the whole thing up but i think we should be fine as we are let's get como first and then we're probably going with oh this is a real siege here it's a fort we can also unlock a new skill and we can now go for either avaricious or administrator and i think administrator is what i would like to go for avaricious is not i mean switch it plus 22 administrator plus three um likable tyranny it's mostly about what I can see. It's mostly about um, administration. Um, yeah, opinions. This one here is monthly income while at war plus ten. Monthly income per stress level. Man at arms maintenance strat minus fifty. No, let's go with that for example. administrator. All right, this is a pretty big siege here. It takes long. No, I know. Pneumomnia, my poor son. Today, oh no. Oh, it's Jacob. All right. Hmm, grave news. My son Jacob has fallen ill with pneumonia. The future is uncertain. Death lingers closely by his bad side, yet he might survive. Oh God. There will be no treatment. The choice is up to you. Be cautious, do more than what is necessary. All right, we do have a good court physician right now. 13 learning. This is quite a battle here against Fort Como. All right, there we've taken it. Where is the capital for him? Oh, wait a second. They switched once again. There's someone new now. Oh, she's up here. Luxembourg, we're fighting against Luxembourg. Oh, and he's recovered. Very good. Well, we need to get up here. We've taken Como so far. That's fine. And now we have to go all the way up there to Luxembourg to win this war. Um, and my wife died. Not the worst thing, actually. My wife died. We get a new one. Either with Alliance Power, Byzantine Empire. With that, we could be as strong as Bavaria. She's a stuttering, though. She's stuttering, but there's nothing coming out of it anymore. Is this a good thing? I think this is a very good thing here right now. We would have an alliance with the Byzantine Empire... Um, we would get lots of prestige out of this. We would have an army of 9,000 plus then. Yes, I'm going with that. This alliance is amazing. We have formed an alliance with the Byzantine Empire. From uh, Seriously, we could now defeat everyone that we like with this power. Cecilia comes of age. They can now marry. They should be doing that. And I can also ransom some prisoners there. I got some counts there as well. That's going to be some money. First of all, I like to take this now here in Luxembourg. That we've taken it. 
It's still only plus 40 percent though. She's not giving up. She's now allied to us. Oh, a powerful ally might join. We might have to call in the Byzantine Empire. How much does that cost us? 750 prestige. Oh no, I cannot do that. <laughs> 700. Um, this guy is not so strong. Lotharinga is not so strong. Oh, I think the ties have changed. She's got a marriage, I think. Very quickly, she's got a marriage. Most likely. How she get that? Through marriage between Martinga. I mean, this is a pretty powerful alliance that she's had. She's got there now. Murder scheme, would that be anything? Nah, it's too far away. Um, free man's fortune, alloys, a free tenant renting some of my land in Grinningen has pulled in an exceptional harvest this season. He wishes to use some of his profits to purchase a piece of my estate from me so that he can build upon his success and grow more crops. Um, forget farming, join my court. 21 in stewardship. Much stronger than the current one. If he can pay me in hard coin, the land is his. Or the land in Grinningen is mine. No, let's actually... Yeah, I'm going to put him uh, in as my steward. There he is, Alloys. We've got a very good steward now. Alright, the war is still going on. Though, I have a bad feeling about it. We are not married. Oh. Oh no. My betrothed died. We need to marry again. Oh, what the... What is going on? Aquitaine. Princess Il... Yeah. With Aquitaine. That's... That's another prestige boost. Oh. She will not... She will not accept. And we look a bit beaten. Okay, a lot of bad things are happening right now. We are dying as well. We are dying as well. There's not much I can do, I guess. Breisgau. That's not really something. Iceland, 2000. Rob. Iceland is possible. Let's go with that. Um, the Reaper's Touch. We have the Plague. We have the Bubonic Plague right now. Um... Do more than what is necessary. And Anna attributed my ailments to an unsounded diet to re revit revitalize my body. She insisted I consume only ra raw vegetables and herbal teas. Um, at least I, I got another year, at least that. My Jacob can marry his Ilser. She's the genius one, so we are doing this. Alright, so we're soon going to play as Simon. Simon still does not have... A son. So Anna also got the plague. And I'm going to get rid of her. Huh. We would have to murder her. Let's do this. And we have died. It's now. We're playing as now the Duke. But the problem is we have no alliances. And all of my. What is going on? All of my people have Bourbonic Plague now. We have one daughter. Bourbon. I could go with that. Yemtland. Let's go with Bourbon. We do have a quick one here. Inbred, but I don't really care about this. It's far beyond my reach. The problem is I need an alliance there. Oh god, please don't let me lose this war now. Alright, we lost three people there as well. My wife has the plague. We are already... Do we have the... We don't have a scheme against her at the moment. Can I get rid of her? I will have to murder her. I will have to murder my own wife. That is an achievement, by the way. So it's a good thing we're doing it anyway. Um, oh god. Lots of uncertainties right now. Lots of things have happened. We have joined a war as well. Um, and uncertain future. Stay tuned.